Okay, in this segment, we're going to talk about the installation of uh, a valley detail with exposed fastener panels. Now, we've got this all put together here. A couple things I want to bring to your attention. Uh, you notice that, that we've held back the subfascia enough to give us room to get this panel underneath. Now, uh, your, your finished fascia will, will cover that and, and address that when you finish it out. Now, you want to make sure that the panel underneath the overhang goes, now ours is going, I, I have this thing going pretty far up. At bare minimum, you want it going, I'd say at least six inches above where your soffit line is gonna tie into it, as long as you can get it there. Um, but you wanna get these panels up underneath as far as possible so that wind-driven weather can't get up in there. Now we've got our RV2 flashing here. Um, which has the, the, the center, we call it, some people call it a W flashing or W value. Now, with our scenario that we have, our rib landed in a perfect spot uh, for our valley flashing to dump off into here. If something were to occur to where this rib ended right here, you would want to extend the valley flashing on out past so that you dump it out into the, in between the ribs and not ending it on top of the rib. Also, uh, very important in the valleys, you always want to have ice and water shield under the valleys. Valleys are always an area that have potential to leak, especially if you're in a cold weather climate where you get some ice damming. Now you'll notice we have the upper panel here. Um, we're six inches from the center of the valley. Now we've popped a line and you'd have the same thing on this side. You'd be six inches and the reason for that is to give enough room so that leaves and debris can get out of the way or, or run out. If you have this panel all the way down here and you've only got an inch aside, then debris and leaves are going to get trapped in the valley at the rib. So make sure you're six inches from the center of the valley. You have plenty of room to get everything out of there. Now Steve's going to come in and grab this so that you can see some things. Now we've got a 12 inch end lap. Anytime you have an end lap, you want 12 inches. So we've got this panel going up underneath our valley flashing. And notice we've got end lap sealant tape. Now this is sealer strip. This is used to seal between the valley flashing and the panel in lieu of an outside closure or um, an inside closure. The closure strip's not gonna fit because we've cut it at an angle and changed our dimensions. So this sealer strip will expand, set this back down, Steve. The sealer strip will expand at the rib to seal that. And then when you anchor it, it'll compress between the ribs. Now also, very important, grab that one more time, Steve. You wanna put butyl sealant tape top and bottom of this sealer strip. Valleys are an area that you really need sealant because they're always a potential for leaking if they're not done correctly. So you want butyl sealant tape above and below that. Now when you're anchoring, you wanna anchor through the sealer strip and butyl, so you get a nice seal at the screw penetration, and what you, you, you follow the same pattern we have at the eave, a screw on either side of the rib plus one in the center. And what that's for is to draw this down nice and tight so that you get a tight seal. So we're gonna have screw at either side of the rib and one in the center uh, for these valleys. And also, I, I know I say this in a lot of videos, always be thinking about the flow of water. See how we have all this stacked on top of each other? The water's coming here, it hits the valley, rolls off the valley, hits the pan, out it goes. If the valley was on top of this, the water would run under it. I know it's common sense, but I just feel like I need to continue to say that, just so people don't forget. Think about the way the water's flowing. Also, we have some very good details of this in our standard details book which you can get at fabbrow.com. Every detail's in this book. And there's your valley.